Your agents, did they, uh, did they see him up there? Ryland? No. Your cub's been a bit of a ghost since the, uh, peace negotiation. Commander, as I'm sure you've noticed, the giant glacier blocking our way north has disappeared. How'd it melt so fast? It didn't melt. It retreated, revealing a cave at the far end of the beach. Now, we have an opening. Not yet we don't. The cave isn't wide enough to accommodate Smolder's heavy artillery. We need to make our opening. So, how are we supposed to do that? Without bringing Bangar's whole army down on us. Malice? You'll be going incognito, using one of our disguise tonics. Here's the plan. Our first order of business is to clear away these siege cannons. We could hit those ammo crates. Should take care of the cannons. Dominion's got some ordnance you can borrow. Plant the charges, then detonate them on the far end of the beach. They'll probably notice that. You'll be behind their patrols by then. Assuming you don't get caught. My agents will be waiting ahead to help you clear the path to the caves. Once you've opened the path, Smolder can get his toys behind enemy lines. We'll all rendezvous at our camp in the cave. I'll get my agents into position. Good luck. Okay, we'll... Wait, Malice? Where'd she go? No idea, but that was pretty cool. Let's get down there and take out those cannons. Right. We should try to avoid open conflict until we do. Ritlock? Did I say anything? I've got the disguise tonics. Let me know when you're ready, Commander. Once we're in disguise, we head down to the beach and plant charges next to those siege cannons. We blow the charges, then work with Malice's agents to clear a path for our troops and for Smoter siege engines. We've been holding the line, but it's hard to call that a victory. This new Frost Legion changes everything. Bangar is going to wake the Ice Dragon. He's betrayed the Char. We need to push north and stop him.